Tonight. An Ames school served moldy food to a student this morning. Let's take a look at that. Here is the muffin that she got for breakfast, and right here, this whole section is covered in mold. Yeah, Chief Investigative Reporter Rachel Droz spoke to the 16-year-old. She tells us more about what happened and how parents can check the quality of food in their kids' schools in tonight's Big School. It all happened here at Ames High School. A girl was about to eat a muffin served to her by the school when she looked down and realized it had mold on it. An unpleasant surprise Thursday morning when Destiny Sobs was eating breakfast. It made me feel unsafe. It's very unsanitary. I didn't like that. Take a look at your screen. This is the muffin Destiny bought. The school is so big on food safety and they gave me molded food for breakfast. Thankfully, Destiny's friends noticed before that muffin was eaten. Destiny was about to buy her muffin when my friend Jayla was like, your muffin has mold all over it. Ames Community School District declined to go on camera or issue a statement, but they did tell me over the phone that all the muffins were checked once the issue was brought to the school's attention. No other moldy muffins were found. Destiny's friend Amber also brought the issue to school administrators. And he also said that he would like let the cafeteria people know about the mold problem so that um, no more kids would get moldy food. The district couldn't tell me if this has or has not happened in the past, but they did say it's not something that regularly happens. Destiny says she hopes the district keeps a closer eye on things like this in the future for her sake and other kids. We are developing children and we are growing and we deserve to have better and healthier food. Every year, Ames High School and other Iowa schools are inspected for code violations. Packaged foods are checked during the regular inspection. And you can check your child's school health inspection reports yourself right at home. Information on how to do that is available on our website, weareiowa.com. Reporting in Ames, Rachel Droz, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa.